Cat Bat here. I, like I promised, I'm going to make the Giggle Potion. All right. Let's figure out how to do the camera first. Okay, we've got his recipe. One ice cold bottle of butterscotch beer, one scoop of vanilla ice cream. Chill a beer mug. Put a scoop of ice cream in the glass, then slowly pour the butterscotch beer over the ice cream. Watch for an attack of delicious foam. Flying cauldron. Nestled deep into the forests outside Hog's Breath, England, the flying cauldron has been the main meeting place for good wizards for centuries. Butterscotch beer has been produced continuously on site for most of this time. One wall is completely covered with the many awards for their butterscotch beer, the oldest being from 1512. We're gonna have some. Okay. Oh yes, and my evil eye bow that I bought. That I told you about. Okay. Now let's see if we can put this together. All right. I don't have an ice cream scoop, so we'll use a giant serving spoon. Open the ice cream. Hagen Dazs. I wanted something small because I'm trying very hard to lose weight, not successfully, but the smaller the better. Okay, one scoop. Oh my gosh. That's a big scoop. <laughs> Does I look at this scoop to you? Maybe we'll do one more. Trying not to use my fingers. My hands are clean, but all right now the butter beer. Trying, oops, I'm trying to save the bottle caps because I want to redo the bottle cap countertop in a later place. Now that I know how to do it, I found a shortcut online. Okay, now we pour the butter beer. Basically, it's a root beer float, but better. Okay, I'm going a little too fast. It's got a nice thick head on it. At this point, it's a good thing perhaps I don't have a husband because <laughs> I would probably hear some jokes about that. If you're little kids, Pretend I didn't say that. Okay, here we go. That's the best I can do. Okay, now let's try it. It's good. It's really good after a hot day at work. I made sure I changed my shirt and put a put something in my hair before I did this because I wanted to look wizardy, witchy. <laughs> hey, I, this may or may not be the, I guess the brand that my son got. I don't think it. I think don't think this is flying cauldron. I don't remember the brand. I'll have to find out. But this is still good. It's non-alcoholic. I'm pretty sure they do have a butter beer that's alcoholic. Maybe sometime we'll try that. I have tried alcoholic ginger beer and that's pretty good it's getting harder to find too but if I find it again I'll show you maybe around how closer to Halloween maybe closer to St. Patrick's Day next year we'll see how long this goes mm. that is good so you know what to do Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. I got this at Natural Grocer. I'm not sure how many natural grocers there are around the country. I know there are here for sure on the in the Southwest. You can probably Google it and see where you can find it online. I'm guessing maybe Trader Joe's also. So we'll have to cut this short because we're coming up on five minutes. Let me give you another look at my bow here. 
keep it spooky, guys. Uh, keep it dark. Stay weird. I love my bats. Let's keep counting the subscriptions. Seven more, and we get pillows. <laughs> I can't wait. You guys have a great evening. I'm going to enjoy my giggle potion. It's already given me the giggles. And you guys have a good one. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, stay safe. Keep buying the Halloween stuff, ladies and gents. Ladies and bats. Because it's that time where we all buy our stuff to decorate our houses. So, again, have a good evening. I love you guys. See you later. Bye-bye, baddies.